how do you plan all the financial needs like paying for graduation or for post graduation or even for a marriage of your children how do you give the financial education to your children let's find it out in today's episode i am darshan welcome to the show on personal finance where i talk about money savings investment and today we will talk about the financial habits for the children or steps to achieve financial needs for your kids higher education or marriage this show is for a common person like you and me to understand the complex financial terms in a simple english stick on till the end of this episode where i share additional tips that enable you to make a better decision as a base rule i shall take three mandatory things that you have already taken care of in case not refer to my previous episode and get started point a emergency fund at least have 6 months of monthly expenditure deposited in your another account point 2 term and health insurance to protect your family in case of unforeseen circumstances and health insurance for the medical expenditure for you and family point 3 retirement funds so you should have already planned and started investing for your retirements now let us get into the main subject on the financial education and needs for the children we shall approach this in two stages how do you provide a financial education for children point 2 how do you invest for the financial needs for the future let us see what are the ways that we can provide a financial education point 1 piggy bank or gulag if the kids are at the age of 3 and 4 give them a piggy bank and teach them how to use it every week give a small amount and teach them to add it to a piggy bank this will help them to cultivate the habit of saving point 2 value of money teach them the effort it takes to generate wealth give them some house chores at the end of the chore give a small amount with that they will value the time and the money relation this will also teach them the value of money and they will not blow it on a fancy toys point 3 pocket money as kids mature they demand pocket money do not deny it give it to them with a caution that it's limited to a month or a week and if they exhaust it they will not get more this method will help them to understand budgeting and will allocate money for different needs point d talk about money over dinner talk about money matters share information about money savings and budgeting teach them how you budget monthly expenditure if you are planning for a vacation teach them how you plan your budget for hotel stays fuel and travel with this they will know money management skills and budgeting point 5 and the most important reading of books give them books on finance especially designed for that age group with this they will update themselves with the knowledge about money savings and investment refer to my other episode on why children need financial education i go in detail to explain more on these steps now let's talk about the tools for financial investment point 1 public provident fund or in short ppf is a government backed investment scheme started more than 50 years ago and currently the interest rate is 7.1 as of may 2021 it has a lock in period of 15 years this is a perfect time for education needs of your kids i have talked about ppf in great detail in my other episode point 2 ssy If you have a girl child under 10 years you can open an SSY account in the post office or in any major banks this is also very similar to PPF account 
backed by the government of india and currently the interest rate is about 7.6% it has a lock in period of 21 years and the maturity amount is a tax free which can be used for the purpose of marriage or a higher education point c sip or mutual funds if you are comfortable with the stock market then start a sip as low as 500 rupees per month the investment in a mutual fund can beat inflation and provide a better returns at 8 to 12% over a long run if you are interested in opening a account i'll have it links in the description in meantime do check out www.buytherupee.com for more articles and podcast on the personal finance also comment in the section below or write to me what topics you would like to know more now let's dive back to the conclusion it is always advised to start the investment as early as possible in fact you can open these accounts on the day of the birth or max at one so the time and compounding can work in your favor take these steps as soon as the three major points of emergency fund term and health insurance and retirement planning is done i wish you good luck for your preparation if you have made it to the end of this episode it means you really want to take control of your finance and achieve financial freedom until next episode keep safe and peace